Welcome back to How It's Made. Later, we look at what goes into the humble loaf before it reaches the supermarket shelves. But first... 20 years ago, they were seen as space-age and exotic. Now they are an everyday item. The squeamish among us still couldn't imagine having something so closely located to our eyes. But contact lenses have revolutionised the way people see themselves. Quite literally. Contact lenses have been in existence for over a century. At first completely rigid, they have become as flexible as gelatine. These small discs are used to make soft polymer contact lenses in a variety of colours. Of course, the place to start is with a patient's prescription, which has been digitised for the process to begin. The first stage begins with the data processing control of the shaping. The lathe commences by shaping the inner curvature of the lens. Rotating at 6,000 revolutions per minute, it's armed with an industrial diamond. It shapes the inner surface, the part that touches the cornea. The disc must be free from any imperfection and is polished with a super fine abrasive paste. Polishing is an essential step because it guarantees excellent comfort and perfect vision. A technician measures lens thickness with an extremely precise gauge. The outer surface is then shaped, the part which touches the eyelid. The lens is glued to a spinning arm wax which will be removed later by an ultrasound device. The wax is molded in just seconds. The outer diameter of the lens is now shaped as the computer-controlled arm effortlessly cuts away the excess polymer and is polished. This polishing, done at high speed, calls for an abrasive paste, some oil and a small polyester cotton-like ball. This apparatus polishes several lenses at a time, a step that takes only 60 seconds. The technician then polishes the rims of the lenses. The polymer is then hydrated to make it flexible. Lenses remain immersed in a balanced pH saline solution for 24 hours. The lens becomes engorged with liquid and expands, reaching the desired proportions. Next, the lens is checked. An optical topographer is used to verify whether the spread of the optical power in the lens is precise enough. At every step, the soft, fragile lenses must be handled with the greatest of care. This unit, called a frontofocometer, is a metering device which verifies the optical precision of the lens. Lenses are now completed and are cleaned, then stored in containers filled with salt solution. The vials are perfectly sealed with a silicon cap and another of aluminium. Then they're placed in a steriliser at a temperature of 121 degrees centigrade for an hour and a half. Amazingly, the contents will remain for a period of up to seven years if not opened. Although the production of a lens involves 14 steps, if you exclude the hydration process, it only takes 15 minutes to make one. From these simple coloured discs, a crafted precision piece of technology can transform a person's life instantly.